Welcome to another generic tech support YouTube channel short. I kept applying to jobs and never getting interviews. That's when I discovered that ATS is involved. ATS stands for Applicant Tracking System. This system scans your resume for keywords and decides whether or not you're gonna get to the next step, which is a face-to-face -face interview. So I created a Python script in order to circumvent this issue. And as an added measure, I added a dialog to check to see if this is a ghost job. So let's take a look at how this works. On my Linux system, all I do is simply type in python3 space atsdate.py. I then hit enter. This generates a GUI dialog box. So now all I need to do is find a job I want to apply to. Grab the URL, paste the URL into our Python script, choose my PDF copy of my resume, click on open, and there we go. Now I'm matching keywords. Now keep in mind, that means that the ATS system will be matching keywords. And if the ATS system is matching keywords, you're gonna to need to make sure that you have those keywords in your system. If you notice inside of the job listing that the job listing has keywords, but you don't see them appropriately populate here, then that tells you that your resume doesn't have the information necessary to be successful in applying for this job. In the secondary dialog box, we could see that this job was posted on 516. Since today is 529, we could assume that this is a legitimate job. We note that there's no last modified date, which indicates that this job hasn't been scripted with an API in order to constantly renew and update. This means it's very unlikely that this is a ghost job. If we review the actual position on what we're doing or what we're looking for in this role, then you'll notice that there are gonna be keywords listed here. You're just gonna to have to read between the lines. We can see things such as Microsoft Office, Microsoft Exchange, Apple Business Manager. We can see virtualization. These are all keywords. Gonna to wanna to make sure you add them to your resume, then run the script again to make sure that the script picks up the resume words based on what's in the HTML. And if it does, you're good to go to apply to the job. If it doesn't, check the case, since the ATS systems are generally case sensitive. Sometimes adding words such as virtualization with both lowercase and uppercase dialogue is helpful, so you can match the key words in the ATS system. For way more information on how to circumvent ATS, check out the full video on the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel. For the content of this video and many others like it, check out the website at generictechsupport.com forward slash hashtag shorts.